no, I'm not doing any more sponsorship deals. I'm not selling out. It's embarrassing. You know, I like the fact that I'm totally independent. I can give honest reviews on equipment. And so I'm not, how much? You can send me how many bottles? Uh, okay, okay, yeah, 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 no problem. Yeah, no, no deal, deal, no. Hi YouTubers, so today we're going to be doing talking about the Dura 2 sleeping bag from DD Hammocks uh, and we're not going to do any more sponsorship or product placement or anything like that because I think it's it's selling out. Send me a couple of free bottles, okay, so don't judge. Right. Anyway, roll the trailers. <laughs> YouTubers, so uh, I'm in my hammock in my new DD sleeping bag. I am toast, I'm too hot. I've had to zip it all the way open. Uh, I'm only in a t shirt, I stripped down to my uh, my long johns, and uh, yeah, it's too warm. Uh, I got the the big one, and I think it's it's probably too too big. You see, it covers up the but you know. It is like being cuddled by a warm, cuddly thing. Uh, it is, yeah, you know, first impressions, quite impressed. Uh, morning, YouTubers. So it's six o'clock in the morning. It's uh, four degrees. Uh, I'm nice and toasty in the sleeping bag. Unfortunately, my feet aren't. Uh, and I think that's a, a design flaw of the uh, DD sleeping bag, uh, which I'll do a full review on when, when I'm home. So that's it. Inside it's a compression sack. Now this is the XL, so this is slightly bigger than the standard size one, as you can see. And that I've been accused of not giving enough information. You can get that down to, uh, that's about a foot. So easy fits within a in a, in a, in a foot uh, foot square fits at the bottom of the sleep bag. Still got plenty of room. Weight wise, I believe it's one point eight kilograms, but you can check on the website. But that's for the XL one. Maybe it's slightly lighter. So you can see good compression sack on there. Reduce loads. Just open it up. Average size, good solid drawstring. Now for the price, you know, these buckles are good size thickness buckles. They're not thin. Good stitching. You know, it's bomb proof. You know, it's a good solid construction. Now because of the extra material, I also find that the zip catches quite a lot. Now one of the tricks that I use for my other sleeping bags is by putting the thumb in as you pull the zip up. Or the other one is doing it from the inside and having the thumb here. And what that does is it just catches it. But it doesn't work with it, this zip. See? Continue just keeps on snagging and comes off. Yeah, you know, for about 60 quid for a sleeping bag, the zip is a right pain in the arse. So you, you know that happened to me loads of times while I was in a hammock, and it just pisses me off. You see, once it gets going, it's fine, but it can still catch on all this loose material. Yeah, 
But once you get it going, I mean, it just it catches too many times while I was in a, in a hammock and it just becomes a bit of a pain. So you've got this extra material here, which all the time just keeps on catching into the zip. Which, again, middle of the night, when you're trying to get the zip up, it can be really frustrating. They're just, there's a lot of material around here. And I understand why, because obviously they don't want any drafts coming through the zip, but it does mean pulling the zip up becomes very annoying sometimes. So once you manage to get the zip up, it's got this Velcro piece here, which you, know, you Velcro across there, and then you put this, and you Velcro this piece here, and you know, I've not understood why. Uh, you then got these pulleys here, and this calls, pulls in the baffles around the top. So this brings all around the shoulders, and uh, makes it nice and nice and toasty there. Now the you then have your head pulley, your head. So you get it all all cinched in. Now I don't tie these all off uh, because sod's law you'll need a wee and you need to get out very quickly. So I just kind of hold them down here with my hand. And it doesn't really bother me, it's not in my face or anything like that. So the big selling point of the Dura 2 is the waterproof foot box. And the idea is you step you have the uh, sleeping bag foot box on the ground, you step in to your sleeping bag zip it up and then climb into your hammock anyone's tried that they will realize it's close to impossible and it's actually very awkward and i've tried it a few times it was the main selling point of the sleeping bag and i give up the front opening zip however does make hammock camping so much better and i lay it out on my hammock i open it up all the way i claim in and I zip it all up. No wiggling, trying to get it up and above my head or nothing like that. Makes getting in and out so much easier. It does mean though, that the zip comes off at the bottom. Now I mentioned this on a forum and somebody says that it, it actually broke, but it's not, it actually is designed to completely come undone. And that, when it's at the foot of your hammock and you're trying to re-zip it in the pitch darkness, to get the zip up can be quite annoying and that's happened to me on several occasions now especially when you're down for a wee you pull your zip down you're a bit too excited it opens up and then you've got to re-thread it at night and, and just little design flaws on this sleeping bag just makes it slightly annoying and they're easily fixable so if anybody is from DD watching this uh, hopefully you'll take some notice I don't see the reason why the zip comes all the way undone at the bottom you the internal pockets is my other pet hate. Now the internal pockets are huge. Look at the size of that. Brilliant. I like the idea of having an internal pocket. They're on both sides. Nice, big, lots of spaciousness. And you know, useful to put your phone in, your wallet, your keys, uh, your battery charger to keep it warm. You know, put your Sawyer water filter in there as well so it doesn't freeze. Brilliant idea. However, the pockets are not elasticated in any way. There's no drawstring. There's no way, once you put items in here, and it's a big pocket, you see the size of that pocket, for them to fall out again. And because it's a front zip opening zip, and you're in a hammock, these ends fall to the side of your, your hammock, and whatever's in these pockets fall out. I've had my phone go flying, I've had my charger go flying, I had to go hunting for my Sawyer water filter. They're no good. You know, just putting, uh, just making these slightly a bit elasticated just along the top here so whatever you put in doesn't fall straight out would have made this sleeping bag perfect. So if they're going to do a Dura 3, fix the zip, fix the pocket. Little things like that just makes the sleep mag just slightly bit annoying. Apart from all the things that I've said about it, it's uh, it's little annoying things that would make this a brilliant sleeping bag. But for the price, it's not bad. I don't see any value in 
the the foot box uh, because I tried it a few times it makes no sense to me I just lay it out on my hammock or in my tent all open and I just get into it that way uh, so I don't find any use in the foot box whatsoever uh, the few times where I have been sat in my sleeping bag on a camp chair maybe then yeah it's useful it's quite cool down in my feet area but then I said I have cold feet so I always have thick socks and I've got myself some uh, downs booties which are brilliant They're like 15 pounds from Amazon really worth it uh, the zips annoying the side pouches just show that there was little design flaws that they hadn't really thought about the forward zip is brilliant it's a cheap sitting bag you know it's you can pick them up for about 50 60 pounds uh, you know it's not your 200 300 pound rab rab four season sleeping bag it's okay for its price you know uh, as all the stuff that I review, review I tend to try to keep things cheap in its price market I don't think you get a better sleeping bag for the price uh, and all the little design flaws were annoying you still have to factor in that it's not a badly priced sleeping bag uh, so if you want a reasonably priced you know okay-ish and if you're doing hammock camping the vault the front zip does make life so much easier it's not bad uh, you know there's been a lot of negative reviews on the sleeping bag online I don't think it's as bad as people make out uh, yeah no it's not four seasons it's not down it's a synthetic sleeping bag I prefer synthetic sleeping bags I know people have their preference me personally prefer the synthetic ones uh, I've never had any issues with it I tend to put more clothes on if I'm camping in the winter anyway uh, and if you are cold you put more clothes on it, it's, it's not you know I wouldn't sleep in this without any socks on for example I'll put my booties on and booties have got a waterproof layer on anyway so I can walk around camp with them on uh, it's not a bad sleeping bag and having tried hammock camping with a side zip then I would never go camping again with uh, other th with a front zip so it does make getting in and out a lot easier so if you are looking for a reasonably priced sleeping bag you can get some good bargains on the DD Dura uh, I'm 5'11". The reason I went for the extra large is I do like a lot of space. I don't like to feel cramped in a sleeping bag. And this has given me plenty of room. So, uh, yeah, the XL, you know, I'm 20 odd stone, 5'11". Uh, it fits me perfect. I haven't tried the large one. I don't know how much. I think the large one is actually shorter. Uh, I probably could have gone without one because I do have a bit extra length on, on this. But, again, I do like a lot of space around my head I don't feel I don't like being cramped I can actually get my knees in this up to my chest and I can actually sleep in a fecious position which I quite like sometimes uh, which I couldn't do if it was any tighter so yeah you know I'm happy with my purchase uh, I've had several months out of this now uh, and other than the zip which has started getting me annoyed and if anyone's got any recommendations on how I can stop it uh, you know there's a few people who say you know you put your finger in in the zip as you're pulling it up but there's so many layers of material around the zip it just causes a pain so there's a Jura 2 sleeping bag uh, like add your comments if you're using it and you're enjoying it then let me know if you're using it and hating it let me know uh, otherwise uh, you know like subscribe tell your friends and uh, I'll see you for my next video see you later